Well, welcome to the White House. Everybody looks fabulous. Uh, I am truly honored to be uh, one of Michelle Obama's guests tonight here at dinner. Uh, I want to thank uh, all the governors and their better halves for being here tonight, especially your chair, Mary Fallon, uh, and your vice chair, John Hickenlooper. Tonight, we want to make sure that uh, all of you make yourselves at home, uh, to which I'm sure some, some of you are thinking, uh, that's been the plan all along. <laughs> so, but keep in mind what a wise man once wrote, I am more than contented to be governor and she'll not care if I never hold another office. Of course, uh, that was Teddy Roosevelt. So uh, I, guess, I guess plans change. You know, I, I look forward to working with each of you, uh, not just in our meetings tomorrow, uh, but throughout this year, uh, what I hope to be a year of action. You know, our partnership on behalf of the American people on issues ranging from education to health care to climate change run deep. Uh, deeper than what usually hits the front page. Uh, being here tonight, I, I'm thinking about moments that I've spent with so many of you during the course of the year, uh, with Governor Patrick at a hospital in Boston, seeing the survivors of the, bo uh, Bos uh, the Boston bombing, uh, seeing them fight through their wounds, determined to return to their families, but also realizing that a lot of lives were saved because of the preparations that federal and state and local officials had carried out beforehand. Uh, with Governor Fallon uh, at a firehouse and more, uh, thanking first responders who risked their lives to save others after a devastating tornado, but once again seeing the kind of state-federal cooperation that's so vital uh, in these kinds of circumstances. Uh, spending time with Governor O'Malley uh, at the Naval Academy graduation last spring and looking out over some of our newest sailors and Marines as they joined the greatest military in the world and uh, reminding ourselves that uh, on national security issues. Uh, the contributions of the National Guard obviously are extraordinary and uh, all of you work so closely with them. So if there's one thing in common uh, in the moments uh, like these, it's that our cooperation is vital to make sure that we're doing right by the American people. And what's common also is the incredible resilience uh, and the goodness uh, and the strength uh, of the American people that we're so privileged to serve. And that resilience has carried us from the depths of the worst economic crisis in our lifetimes uh, to what I am convinced can be a breakthrough year for America and the American people. That, of course, will require uh, that we collectively take action on what matters to them, jobs uh, and opportunity. And when we've got a Congress that sometimes seems uh, to have a difficult time acting, I want to make sure that I have the opportunity to partner with each of you in any way that I can to help more Americans uh, work and study and strive and make sure that they see their efforts uh, and their faith in this country rewarded. Uh, I know we'll talk more about uh, areas where we can work together tomorrow. So tonight I simply would like to propose a toast. To the families that support us, to the citizens that inspire us, and to this exceptional country that has given us so much. Cheers. 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 And with that, I would like to invite your chair, Governor Mary Fallon, to say a few words. Mary. On behalf of the National Governors Association and all of our governors represented in the room, Mr. President and First Lady Michelle Obama, it's a great honor to be here tonight in the White House in this beautiful, historic building filled with so much history and tradition of our great nation. We know, Mr. President, that it's a great privilege and honor to be able to spend time with you and the First Lady, and we're very grateful for that. Now, I do have to tell you, Mr. President, that you do have some fellow colleagues like yourself who were once legislators, who are now reformed legislators, who have seen the light and frankly, you know, we used to like to see the 
the Lincoln Memorial is a beautiful facility, but for us reformed former legislators, we now like to be chief executive officers and we like to look at our own Capitol buildings and see our own homes. And so it's always a great honor to be here, but in all seriousness, Mr. President, uh, we know that this nation has many challenges, many opportunities ahead of it, and we believe as governors that uh, we have to act upon our nation's problems. We believe we have great solutions that we can propose, but it's also important that we all work together on behalf of this great nation to do great things for our people. That's what they expect of us, and that's what they deserve of us. So, Mr. President, we appreciate the collaboration, the cooperation. There may be times that we don't always see eye to eye, but we also respect the office of the President and all your cabinet members that have joined us here tonight, and we are deeply grateful for the opportunity to be able to have the collaboration, to be able to talk, and to be able to work on behalf of this great nation. So here's a toast to the President of the United States, President Obama, and First Lady Michelle Obama, and to the prosperity of the great United States of America. Yeah. 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 Yeah.